APC move against Bola Tinubu presidential ambition for 2023? All these side talk say opposition from APC are trying to frustrate Tinubu's move. Now stunts. The less you see, the less you know. Maybe this one. I hope you see reasons with me before the end of the discussion. But please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please hit the subscription button down below. I see you. As you do so, may the blessings of God never cease to overflow in your lives as you support my channel. Amen. Opposition groups in the All Progressive Congress, APC, are reportedly working on the ground to frustrate the yet-to-be officially announced presidential bid of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. According to reports, the ruling APC had settled for a concessious option for the emergence of party officials at all levels. Recall that a statement last Wednesday, Secretary of the Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the party, Senator John Akbam, said the reason for the decision is to reduce acrimony ahead of the forthcoming congresses. The APC scribe noted that the party was making sure it does not leave any room for the opposition, especially the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to sponsor people to cause confusion in our midst. However, new information reveals that the move was targeted at weakening Bolatinibu's vast structures in the ruling party. Three strong reasons why Tinibu will be APC's flag bearer in 2023. Senator Bola Hamid Tinibu's last political office was as the second was as the second civilian governor of Lagos State, which he had from 2003 to 2007. That was 24 years ago. Despite this, his name comes up more frequently in political, social, and economic discussions than, than the names of many correct politicians. The outpouring of criticism and admiration that accompanies the mention of his name in any area of the country is second only to that of President Muhammad Buhari of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's a double-edged sword. Consider Lagos State, where Tinebu's political clout is said to be excessive. Although it covers only 0.4% of Nigeria's physical area, making it the smallest state in the country, Lagos accounts for almost 60% of the country's industrial and commercial activities, according to an independent source. Lagos is financially viable with over 75% of local revenue coming from sources other than federal funds derived from oil earnings. It has the largest internal revenue of any Nigeria state. Lagos would, Lagos would be Africa's fifth largest economy if it were a country with a predicted GDP of over $100 billion in 2020. To be fair to Tinibu, one must set aside political and sentimental considerations at some point and confront the stark realities of the difference he has made in people's lives, expanding economic opportunities, transforming his state's physical infrastructure and steering Nigeria onto a new and progressive path. These are some of the points that was listed. One, secrecy. Tinebu is widely expected to run in 2023, but he has yet to declare his intentions, given that he is up against significant challenges in both the party and the administration. This secrecy could be a new strategy. Since his second tenor as Lagos governor ended in 2007, Tinebu has not maintained a former job in government, but his influence in national politics has grown. Gentleman Agreement 
Senator Rufai Anga, the former chairman of the Default Congress for Progressive Change, claims that an agreement was reached for Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, to succeed President Buhari in 2023. According to Hanga, Tinibu's continued membership in the ruling party after Buhari's first term is due to the alleged arrangement, the, imp the implied agreement that Tinibu will succeed Buhari is an open secret, according to Anger, who was the chair of the CPC at the time. Thirdly, influence, wealth, and political strategy. Asiwaji Bola Hamed Tinibu, a master strategist who has dominated the politics of Nigeria's commercial capital for more than two decades, has long been expected to rule for the country's top job. His formidable political network for deal-making and substantial personal wealth give him an advantage over many other candidates. As the Jagaban painstakingly set out his stall for a presidential run in 2023. He definitely thinks the APC holds in one. Tinebu will be 70 years old in 2023. He has served as both a senator and a governor. He sees the presidency as the final feather in his otherwise distinguished political crown. Tinebu has targeted crucial positions for his loyal loyalists in both the government and party organizations in order to strengthen his path to the presidency in the future. He is a Muslim from the South. While being a Muslim from the South will ordinarily be an advantage for his ticket as it would galvanize the Northern Muslims to his cause. Meaning from all indications, this guy is very much interested in becoming APC flag bearer. I fit mark this. Now him give this write up to whoever publisher. Anyways, my take is that he's old, way too old to lead a nation. But last, last, now Nigerians get the last say. Please click on the notification button for more updates. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.